Okay, today's gonna be uh, a good video. We're gonna do a little comparison for you to find out if the different shoe, what kind of difference that makes in your game. Okay, here is what we're going to do. We're gonna get this guy going. Set that bad boy up. Okay, so I uh, hope you like this video, by the way. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you don't miss anything. Appreciate the support. Today, what we're gonna do is determine uh, if what you put on your feet makes a difference, and if it does, how much of a difference does that make in your game? Now, here's what we do. Uh, okay, you guys know I wear the Athlon's shoes in pretty much every video I do. I love the shoes, okay? They have a certain technology built into them. So a lot of, let's say, the Champion Tour guys, a lot of them are wearing it. And you see a lot of the long drive guys wearing these shoes, okay? Today is not a shoe like sales video. However, they do have a certain technology in there that really helps your game. And so we wanna talk about that and I'm gonna show you numbers, okay? And we're gonna see if that technology really makes a difference and how much of a difference does that make. Make sense? And I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna hit balls barefoot. So I have nothing, just me. Then I'm gonna use a shoe from another, just another brand shoe. I'm not gonna reveal the brand. It doesn't, it's not fair and it doesn't really matter, but it's. It's just another shoe, a, a normal, good, top quality golf shoe out there, okay? And I'll give you those numbers, and because I don't want to bad mouth a shoe company. They, they make good shoes, they just don't have the technology, so I don't want to, you know, it's not a bad mouthing type of channel, so we're not gonna do that. And then we're gonna put on the Athlons and see if we get more, uh, better performance, better results, and uh, what happens when you have a certain technology in your shoe, we'll discuss as we go. Make sense? All right, let's do it. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. The first thing is going to be barefoot. All right, so I'm gonna take off my shoes here. My tennis shoes. All right, barefoot. Some people like to, to go out there barefoot. So we're gonna, we're gonna um, showcase that. And we're gonna hit eight irons because I feel like that's a, that's a good representation between somewhere between, let's say, a mid-iron and a, a wedge, right? So um, we're gonna see kind of some numbers that are going to uh, represent, you know, uh, we're just gonna show you the numbers that we get. Club head speed, ball speed, spin rate, carry, total, uh, my smash factor, the curve, and uh, we'll give you like a nice dispersion of what those look like, okay? And then we'll go to driver barefoot, and then we'll switch to competitor shoe, same thing, and then Athlon's same thing as well. I'm going to hit, um, we're going to hit a lot of balls. I won't make you suffer through all of them, and I'll give you the averages as we go. All right, so uh, here we go, eight iron barefoot. We're using Pro V1X balls, so we're going to stick with that. Here we go. So that's my eight iron barefoot. Let's just look at distance here. Uh, 151 was my last one, it looks like. 145, 149, 43, I mean, you see it right in there um, and you get a good idea of, of what my barefoot numbers are here, okay? So that's not bad, I like that. So uh, let's put on competitor number one shoe and we'll uh, we'll see those numbers with the eight iron as well okay okay pretty good I feel like my dispersion is a lot tighter here with the shoes on and 
I do feel like um, this, let's see, just looking at it, looks like my distances are more consistently longer. You know, I got up to 160 for carry distance. Uh, yeah, just looking at the other ones, my longest was like 154. And here I got 151, 160, 48. So consistently longer and my dispersion is a lot tighter. So just by putting on shoes, obviously you would expect that to happen. But now what we're gonna do is put on Athlons and see if these numbers increase because they claim, all right, their claim is you get closer to the pin, you have more stability, which creates more club head speed and more control. So is it true? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like we gotta know these things. You can't just, um, you can't just say, oh, I believe everything you say. All right, so we got the, the Athlon's shoe. All right, here we go. Athlon's test. Now, the technology in these things is that um, the sole and the insert, if you get the right insert, that even adds to it. But the sole technology is it's turning you in a little bit. So it's creating that stability so you're not swaying off the ball so much. That's what you don't want. You don't want to sway off the ball. You want to stay connected so you can get a good turn. You're stable into your shot and you can drive off that back foot and, and make good uh, solid contact with that ball and have a lot more uh, control over your shots by being connected to the ground a lot more. All right, so here we go. Athlon's eight iron, 12 shots. Okay, so uh, I certainly got more distance. That is for sure. My longest was 173. So certainly I'm getting more distance. What that translates into is this. If you're getting more distance with less effort, then what happens is you're gonna be able to slow your swing down and control it more. So I certainly felt a difference, uh, just being honest, from when I put on the shoe, the first shoe, it, was, it took me a few swings to get used to even having shoes on. And then transitioning to Athlons, it took me a minute because they definitely feel different than the other shoe. So it took me a little bit to get that feeling before I was uh, comfortable with swinging because I didn't want to slow my swing down, right? I, I felt like if I were going to do that, um, it wouldn't be fair, but I didn't want to speed it up either. So if you just look at club head speed here, I'm at 85, 86, 87. The other shoe, I'm at 84, 83. And then the first one, I'm a little slower. It's interesting. So you can see just on club head speed, like putting that shoe on with an eight iron got me an extra mile or an hour, two miles an hour difference. That's why I went a little bit farther. So, and that was without trying. I'm not trying to get more club head speed. It's just happening. And so I could actually slow down and get the same speed, but when you slow down, you can have more control. So now we're gonna go to driver, do the same thing, and just kind of look at our results and see what happens when we do that. Barefoot and the other shoes were kind of similar, to be honest. And then when I went to the Athlons, the technology, it's just, it's, I'm able to just have a much more firm base. And I don't know if you could tell or notice, but on those last couple swings, I really tried to shorten my swing up and take a more controlled swing. And it went, that's probably the last five swings. I don't know if I achieved it, but I really felt like I was a little bit shorter 285, 292, 296, 286, 273, 293, you know, in total distance. And th those swing speeds were 103, 105, 105, 105. <laughs> like they were among the fastest swing speeds. With a more controlled swing, 
And I felt like those last few shots were a lot closer to center. So does what you put on your feet matter? A lot of people think, oh, I just need a golf shoe. A golf shoe certainly helps, but if you have the right uh, technology built into the shoe to help your performance, then you're gonna have a lot better performance and you're gonna be able to maximize what you do. So uh, what you do, what you put on your feet, as you can see, makes a difference. There's a link in the description below if you wanna check out Athlons. Look at their website. Uh, you have a discount code there if you wanna check them out. But they are giving you an added benefit, especially as you get older. Uh, you need more of that, let's say, uh, security, that more of that support in your footwear to make it work. Otherwise, you're just, uh, you're losing something that you shouldn't be losing. And you, you go get that. Don't let people steal from you. You go steal from the course. Go get every ounce of strokes you can get your grubby little hands on. And you will improve. Give them a check out. That's all I'm saying. Or uh, <laughs> make sure you're getting grounded some way, shape, or form out there when you're playing golf. Don't throw those strokes away. Hope this video was helpful. Sheds a little light on what's happening out there. Love you guys. Whew. I'm gonna go take four showers. See you in the next video. All right. We're gonna do the Kyle Brookshire and see if we can't get something crazy. Ugh. 108.